Hello everyone, welcome back to another Ableton tutorial. It's been a little while since the last one. Uh, I was away up a mountain doing some hiking, making some field recordings, that kind of stuff. Uh, big shout out to the Patreon crew. There's uh, some new people joining. It means a lot. And for Patreon members, I did just upload a big sample pack that I recorded up mountains and all the sorts of things that I was just doing. Uh, Patreon members, of course, will be able to download the entire set from today, including the effects racks we're going to build. Big shout out to the YouTube gang. Uh, lovely to have you here. The involvement, it means a lot. It really does help. So let's jump into it. You read the title of today's video. You have ears. You're listening to me talk, but you could also hear something going on in the background. Today we're going to look at making a modular style granular four tap delay. Sounds very complicated. It doesn't need to be very complicated. It's a delay that does all sorts of cool stuff like throwing the audio signal around and around and around. So you can hear where we're going to end up. I'm just going to show you where we're going to start. That's the original kalimba sample. Uh, that's what we're going to start with today. Or perhaps you want to use it on something more like a snare drum. A snare drum sounds like that, but we can turn a snare drum into something like this. Doing all kinds of crazy knocking it about and yeah, that kind of stuff. We like that kind of stuff here. Uh, right, so that's where we're going to end up. Uh, those sorts of things. Uh, let's begin at the beginning. I'm going to delete these uh, these channels with the effects on them and we're just going to start with these basic samples, the kalimba sample and this snare sample. They're just going to stay in there and uh, we're going to use them a bit throughout what we're looking at today. So let's start with the idea. What do we mean by a four tap delay? Well, a tap, a delay tap is just sort of like a, a delay line. It's like one copy of a note that is doing something individual and by itself. So even if we bring in Ableton's echo device here we have a left and a right by default this uh, this little button here is set to uh, set to link uh, but if we if we turn that off then we go something like this or this uh, we've now already created a two tap delay we've got two different delay lines uh, and they're doing something different that's essentially what we're going to play with today but we're going to play with how can we modulate that what sort of things can we put where what's going to sound cool how can we make it controllable and i mean you you heard what was going on um right i'm going to stop stop yapping and and start doing we're going to start doing okay so let's play this kalimba sample and let's explore what's happening with this echo so Already I'm going to turn this, the dry wet up because I'm not going to want any of the original signal coming in. We can, we can create a separate separate lane for that. Um, and there's a few things that are going to be interesting to modulate on here. One of which, of course, is these individual, uh, individual taps here. What I might do is already add just a little bit of delay to the right one so they're a bit different. The feedback is also going to be interesting to modulate and also the filter. And I'm also just going to turn off re-pitch so that when these change, we get more of a uh, more of a, a, a glitchy kind of a thing as opposed to the, that sort of pitchy kind of a thing. But before we start modulating these things, I want to modulate a couple of things with the incoming signal. Uh, just, uh, just basically volume and panning. So I'm going to bring in a utility. Uh, I'm going to bring in an LFO. And I'm going to map this to only plus but in this case we're going to go to minus 50 so it's only going to go below the original signal volume i'm going to attach that to this gain now you can see the gain going up and down according to this um according to this uh, sine wave here uh i get you probably guessed we're going to put that on random <laughs> and that's just going to be flipping and flopping about at it like randomizing the volume of the incoming signal uh, let's put these back to this so it's more obvious exactly what this gain is doing. So you can hear that this is just really controlling the incoming signal and already it's quite interesting. What I want to do is control the rate at which this change is happening. First of all, I'm also going to label this. We need to keep labeling stuff today, otherwise it's going to get out of control. So let's call this gain mod. Let's add another LFO in here. Uh, let's also set this to random. Uh, let's set this to a small amount, uh, it can be plus minus, and we're just going to connect that to the rate here. So remember, this is now affecting how quickly the gain mod is changing. 
this itself is giving a random signal so we get sometimes we get quite a bit of signal coming through sometimes not much signal at all maybe I do want it a bit more like this so let's gain mod mod lovely uh, and I want to also add a bit of modulation to the balance as well. Because we're splitting this delay into left and right, two taps, uh, the balance is then also going to be quite interesting in terms of so kind of like an individual volume control going into each of the two taps. So again, we're going to set this to random. Uh, and this time I'm just going to map it to the balance here. And that's, I want to be... Let's let's change this. Let's call it pan mod. And I don't want that to be changing the rate the same because it uh, I like things to be operating independently of each other. Okay. So if we turn the echo off, now you can you can hear this sort of already this incoming signal is, is kind of doing all kinds of interesting things all over the place. Uh, right, okay. Now, oh, maybe I want to... No, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, maybe the gain mod, I'm just going to give it a little bit of smoothing so it doesn't click and clip. It's just going to give it a little time to get in between. Yes. Now, the other thing that we're going to add to all of this is going to be the pitch hack. And we're going to add that at the end of this whole chain. So I'm going to turn off the gain mod and the panning mod stuff now. So, so now it's, again, it's just the clean signal now. And we're going to bring in the pitch hack in here. Pitch hack is a really cool plugin. Again, we want 100% wet because we don't want any of the dry signal coming through. Now, you can hear that You can hear that as I'm sure, well, obviously it's doing some pitching stuff. We have a recycle button here. That's a, a kind of a bit like adding in a, um, adding a, a feedback. It's a bit like a feedback. Let's put this back to 12. So you can hear it creates a kind of um, cloud, cloud type effect. Uh, let's bring that down. And we also have this lovely reverse thing here. sets the probability for a sample to be played in reverse. Uh, so uh, so what this is doing is this uh, is, this is doing the granular work. So um, the rate, uh, this is kind of like the length of the segment uh, that, that's being granulized and pitched up. And uh, we have, this is the, the probability that uh, the reverse is going to be applied to it. This is, yeah, kind of, kind of, yes, it's a feedback, isn't it? So the pitch hack, really cool plugin. Uh, now, let's add back in these other things in here. So you can hear that this is doing some really cool stuff. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to map a bunch of these things onto a yeah onto some macros. So I'm going to group all of that. Uh, so that we can easily change a bunch of this stuff. Uh, and what I also want is a sort of master volume going in. Uh, yeah, so let's call this gain in. And uh, and this is tap one and two, so I'm already going to label this tap one and two. Uh, right. So let's do some let's do some mapping. We're going to map the gain to here. Uh, remember, gain. We only want that to go up to zero. Um, it can already go up here and let's change this to gain one two um now what else do we want to map we want to map uh, like the pitch i think this is going to be good to map to here can i just click on you yes so this is going to be pitch of one and two uh right now we're going to want uh some stuff on the echo uh, wait, oh no, also on the, on the, on the, the pitch hack, we're going to want some reverse, uh, let's put that, let's put that down the end here. Right, uh, other stuff, let's map some stuff from the echo, okay, so we want here, we want rate one, this one, we now have rate two, uh, Feedback. 
feedback for one and two. Uh, perhaps we don't want the feedback to go all the way to 150%. Perhaps we only want it maximum 100. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so we only want the feedback to be like going up to 110% max. Uh, we're going to map the reverb on this to here. Well, at verb one and two, uh, let's actually change the reverb to be happening on the feedback. Uh, and we're going to map the filter. I'm going to map a filter to this. So let's, yeah, let's map high pass and low pass to the same button. Uh, and let's turn it all the way up. And let's see, we can see the filter. Okay, so I want to bring the top of the high pass down. Is that right? Uh, no, that. I want to bring the top of the high pass down. Uh, and then when this is all the way down, I want to bring the bottom of the low pass up. Something like that. Lovely. Um, so that is now our filter one and two uh yep so we have gain one and two we have pitch one and two we have rate of tap one we have rate of tap two we have a feedback control for tap one and two we have a filter control for tap one and two uh we could do the pitch on the pitch hack here we can turn the reverb up uh and we have uh, a reverse on the on the pitch hack exactly uh, maybe we want to connect this recycle to the feedback as well that's going to be interesting uh is it is or is that just going to get crazy is that going to get crazy that's kind of cool i like that lovely okay now uh, you probably guessed. We said we're going to do a four tap. This is a tap one and two. So let's uh, let's duplicate it. So I'm going to group that into a rack. This is what I want to do. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I'm going to duplicate tap one and two. And let's turn that off. And let's call this tap three and four. Bet you didn't see that coming. Bet you didn't see that coming. Let's relay, re, re, relay, renable, renable, rename. Sorry, sorry. Let's rename some of the stuff in here. Three, four. Uh, let's re, rename these whilst we're here. Gain three, four. Uh, pitch three, four. Rate three. Rate four. Feedback three and four. Verb three and four. Filter three and four. And uh, reverse three and four. Yeah. Now let's bring in some more macros here. Uh, yeah, as many as we can. And we're going to just map all of these to these. So let's go here. We're going to map gain one and two. Pitch one and two. Okay, so we've done a bunch of mapping. Uh, we let's turn taps one and two back on again. Um, for now, I'm going to set pitch one and two back to zero. So now we have this sort of lovely confluence of sounds. Yes. Now, I'm going to just color color these. Can I do all of these at once if I select this and this? Is that enough I do that? No. Uh, all right. Sorry, I'm just... Sorry, we're taking a long time. Oh, shit. Now I need to get the same one every time. Colorblind. Uh, yeah, there we go. 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 Let's make you that color. Now I have to get the same one. Is that the same one? I don't know. Uh, maybe that one. Maybe that one. Maybe that one. Oh, no, not that one. I did say there was going to be a lot of mapping today. Did I? Wow, there's a lot of mapping. Okay, so 
there's the situation. Now, uh, of course, we can just press random and generate a bunch of presets, but there's maybe a couple of things that we want to exclude from randomization in this, which is perhaps the gain. I want the gain to uh, be excluded from random, exclude macro from randomization, and the pitch. I want the pitch to be excluded from randomization. Gain, exclude, and pitch. So now I can just press this. And we're generating all of these super cool tap situations. That's lovely. Really nice. To get the kind of... Uh, let's just make sure that none of these feedbacks are going to go crazy. Feedback is quite low. You're quite high. Okay. Uh, now, uh, to get the situation I had happening before... Uh, with the constant modulation, of course, we're going to use uh, we're going to use old favorites, uh, expression control. Uh, as mentioned, I made myself an expression control random preset. Uh, every incoming MIDI signal is generating a random outgoing signal. Um, so I want this to trigger a new signal every time it triggers the sample. So the sample itself is two bars long. Uh, I'm going to connect this to rate one and we're going to make it 100% random I'm going to connect this to rate two again we're going to make it 100% random I'm going to connect this to feedback one and two and again we're going to make it 100% random maybe feedback uh, oh yeah and now because this is going to be modulating where the dials are set we can sort of also control the ranges a bit uh, so you should be kind of up in here uh, I'm going to map you to reverb for one and two uh, 100% and we're going to map you to the filter for one and two also at 100% um, going to duplicate that for the uh, for these taps over here right uh, oh yeah I need to I need to set all these uh, what am I doing I need to set all of these to sort of controllable values you need to be in the middle so that up and down actually makes a difference you're gonna stay there uh, right map you to feedback yes we don't want that to go crazy it's 100% uh, map you to reverb yes uh, and we're going to leave you there and what do we put here filter yeah map you to the filter uh, 100% and you can come in here and be like this yep uh, now we need one more just to control those last two things uh, of course which are reverse here 100% and reverse here 100% so now every time a new MIDI signal is triggered and this MIDI signal is two bars long. Uh, it's playing through the sample. Each time the sample starts, all of these values are randomized according to these expression controls. You can see them being randomized here. So this is our four tap delay rack. Uh, now we're going to, again, we're gonna group that and we're gonna create a dry chain underneath. And that's it. That's what we did. So there you have it. Uh, that's today's tutorial. Um, of course, experiment with the kind of things that you modulate with each incoming MIDI signal. Uh, putting LFOs on the pitch is also very fun and interesting, especially for percussive sounds. Perhaps doesn't work so well for uh, melodic sounds. It's, well, it can, it can. You're adults, you can make your own decisions. I hope you got something from today. Please share in the comments if you'd like me to dive more into any of these ideas or if you have suggestions for things I could make videos on. Please, please share anything that you're making with these, with these uh, ideas and explorations. Uh, tag me on Instagram at nicholas.thayer. Uh, would love to, to see and reshare. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. Fun times.